Welcome back, Home Glitches. Good to see you again. Uh, today, we're going to take a look on how to do some pretty cool 3D effects that I didn't cover on my last video. Today, we're going to be looking at how to do particle effects in 3D emitters, kind of a very cool, unique power that we have with Polypop, and I think it's going to be a good one. Let's get started. Welcome back to my YouTube. Appreciate you swinging back and swinging by. If you haven't done so already, help me out and smash all my socials. It really helps me out in the channel, and I keep on making good stuff for you to watch, so it's always good there. Um, if you haven't checked out my last video, you might get a little bit lost on what this is. So if you're asking yourself, what exactly is Polypop? Well, it is kind of the best of all worlds. It's its own broadcasting software where you can go live. You can go ahead and make a canvas. It has twi uh, Twitch integration alerts. It's got Elgato Stream Deck plugins, and it works a little bit everywhere, and they keep on adding things to it. So I'm really excited to see where this is going, and it's really cool to see a program that's got some really unique features, such as 3D, actual 3D environment, and physics, and shadows, and, and, and things like that, because not other, any other broadcasting software that I know actually has it. And if somebody does have something like that, let me know, because like, I'd love to cover it as well. Anyways, that's a mouthful. I know it's crazy. Let me go ahead and jump into today's video. We're covering emitters and particle effects and those types of features in Polypop. Let's get started. Okay, we are back in Polypop. Um, I've got basically what we had before for a starting point, you know, just a basic background through NDI and my webcam pulled through. I am going to do one thing here with my webcam while I've got it up, and that is the chroma filter. Somebody was asking about it before. Pretty simple. If you've already got it, uh, your webcam pulled in underneath crop and filter or your base, you hit this plus, or if you already got a crop filter applied, go ahead and edit that crop and filter or add a crop and filter using plus. And then when you're in this screen, you can adjust your crop or you can add filters on the right hand side by hitting plus. And then you get lots of different types of elements in um, things as well. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and add a chroma key real fast. That's what you need for a green screen. You pick your chroma color, which I already have set up somewhere similar to your background. If you've got green screen, blue screen, da 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 da. That's not even close to what mine is, but basically once you get it in there, you adjust these sliders until it grows nice and gray. Maybe adjust that one a little bit. And that's really all you need to do to set up your... Um, uh, your your chroma key green screen effect or whatnot and just play around with the sliders until you get an effect that you want you can see I still have some fuzziness going off but that's fine for me anyways today we're gonna be playing with emitters let's get right into that um, I think I'm gonna start playing with the, the um, particles as well you can bring in particles using this guy over here Sorry, if you didn't see where I was at, I'm just adding a scene line uh, light underneath the scene layout. I'm hitting plus. You can add your own 3D particles here, or you can use some of the pre-mades that are in the system. Uh, you can adjust the pre-mades if you want as well. So if you see one that kind of fits your play style, you can use one of those, um, or you can generate it from the beginning. So let's go ahead and generate one from the beginning and show you what it looks like. The base is this nice little um, node here, which is invisible well, when you go live, but if you hit burst, you emit burst it will give you a nice little burst of color and honestly you can play around with the size it's on circles right now you can make it square you can change the size you can even give it texture so if you want I can pick a texture object such as my camera and then when it emits a burst you actually get little tiny camera instances of yourself so that's kind of cool I'm gonna go ahead and use this as well for our next set of effects um, as part of a trigger. My point today, or my goal today, is to make some sort of um, Twitch trigger alert, like a bit alert or something like that, that uses particles and or um, emitters. So something that's a 3D effect for a, a Twitch alert um, indicating bits. So anyways, I, the best way to explain that some of these things is to play around with them and, and see what fits your, uh, your, your fancy. I can change the size. I can change the, the, the force. I can add some extra mods, uh, like make it emit continuously or on move or things of that nature. For this one, I'm just going to have it uh, set up with when I bur hit the burst button to make it shoot out a bunch of little particles. And actually, this little burst thing works just fine for me for today whatnot but you know play around with it change the color change the size um, you can have it emit on move or even use the presets these there's some really cool presets like these this three particle preset that just um, suits a bunch of particles on screen 
hard to see it with it on there, but um, and just kind of like follows you know one thing that moves things randomly. So it's actually quite a few fun things on there. I gotta I gotta delete this because I'm not gonna use it. But play around with them, see which ones you like, and we'll go back to that original one that we had here for it. So yeah, it's kind of cool that you get um, particle emitters um, available to you as well. So let's go ahead and bring in. Um, that 3D particle that we had before and I'm going to go ahead and make myself the object um, and I'll just put it somewhere center screen. So particles are pretty simple. They're basically just basic shapes uh, that emit all over the place and, and just make a stream of particles and you can make it like in a just a random burst or a line different things like that. Emitters are the same property or same idea except for instead of like this 2D or a little particle, basically, you get um, 3D objects available so you can shoot them out. And what we're going to do today is kind of make um, something for bits. So I wanted to make like a Bitcoin thing. Um, they have underneath the Twitch section, they have like this bits pile um, coin template, which you can use and actually is pretty good. But we're going to make one from scratch. So I'm just going to go into 3D objects. I can pick one of these coins. I want to do a little bit different today. And I want to try out uh, this ruby here um, because, you know, in, in the world of Twitch, uh, the bit looks like kind of like a diamond except for it's purple. And I'm going to go ahead and add that as an emitter. Um, so basically when I emit, it will shoot out these diamonds. And right now they're floating. Um, I'm going to change that a little bit for some of our physics and stuff. So let's mess around with some of the things we can do. Again, this is just kind of preference um, for my actual object. I'm gonna change the color to more of a purple to kind of match that purple diamond bit that Twitch has. Um, underneath the physics, I'm gonna stop it from floating. You see that it's gonna fall onto the canvas, which I'm gonna make this kind of like a tip jar thing where it can just shoot out and accumulate at the bottom of the screen. Right now it's accumulating onto the canvas, so I gotta change the physics of the environment for that. So any other mods I wanna do in here? I can make it emit continuously or on move. You know, these you just have to play around with to see if you, there's something that you really like. You can even aim at things. It's actually kind of cool. I've done a, a couple of um, things where different objects aim at different objects, and it's kind of fun because they bounce and interact in the world of physics. Um, instead of three, though, I'm going to shorten it down to one. So each time it clicks, I get one. And then I'm going to actually change, you know, the max simultaneity is fine. They can stay on screen in, in, in my case. Maybe I'll, I'll make a button to clear it. But we also need to change the physics of the environment. In order to do that, you need to come up here to the 3D screen layer. And as long as when you open this guy up, this is the, the, the group of anything that's in here or the parent of, I guess. So the uh, 3D object emitter is inside that group. And so if I edit this 3D screen layer, it edits the properties that affect these items that are in it. So I'm gonna highlight the 3D screen area and I'm going to change gravity. And right now gravity is getting pulled on the Z axis. Um, Polypop works in three axes. Uh, axis is, what the hell is the perler of, 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 of axis? So y is, y is top to bottom, um, X is left to right, and the, the Z axis is uh, closest to farthest, I guess is the best way to put it. So if you, are coming into the camera or going away from the camera basically is the z-axis and you can actually change things like the the angle of light and all these different random things your camera zoom um, quite a bit of things you can kind of do to, to make this work um, so instead of changing the scale I can change the camera zoom for example lots of things you can kind of do um, I'm going to change gravity from the z-axis to zero and from the y-axis, I think you have to go into the negatives here. Yeah, positive goes to the top of the screen. The negative goes to the bottom of the screen. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to do is I wanted to shoot out um, one of these little diamonds and pop to the bottom of the screen, which kind of works out pretty cool. Um, I don't like how it's shooting straight up and down, so I'm going to take the object itself, the emitter, and I'm going to mess with its rotation and stuff. I think I'm going to move it to the side a little bit. You know what? Let's make it constantly move, actually. So 
mm, 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 mm. I'm going to give it a mod. Uh, uh, down here? Yeah, down here. We're going to give it a move action. And that move action is going to be, I have to expand it. It's one thing it takes a little bit of getting used to is moving it around and stuff like that. Um, it's a random move. Random move actually is what I want. And I'll take the move action and I'll subtract it. So move action is just moving it a specific space like X, Y, or Z on a certain amount. I'm just gonna keep buying on a random move for right now because I think that works for what we need. Um, and I guess I can delete the move action. And so now it's moving around randomly and I can take the transform and I can give the rotation something different. So I'm gonna rotate it um, a little bit on the X, a little bit on the Y. Let's go ahead and see which direction that shoots to see if that's something I like. Yeah, it just gives it a little bit more of a dynamic look. Okay, now we're gonna link this to um, a bit alert. So I'm gonna go to the left side of the screen where I'm gonna open up my library. I'm gonna go to Twitch alerts. If you don't see Twitch alerts, uh, relink your Twitch. Check out my other video that I did previously. I'll link that as well. And we're going to go ahead and do a, there's a couple different ones. There's just a bit alert, like bits gained. Our cheer alert is the one I think I want to do here. And this one you can specify user and add text, which is what we're going to do for this one. So on cheer threshold, I'll say something like any amount that you want will actually trigger it. So it's like a minimum or whatnot. And so I'm gonna go down to like, I don't know, I think a hundred or something like that would work for me. And on cheer, we're gonna go ahead and drag this guy over to emitting a burst. And then once I have that nice little line of text, uh, sorry, that's not text. We're gonna add text in a second. So if we test it here, it will shoot down. Oh, it shoots kind of like if it bounces off the top of the screen, it will go down faster. That's kind of cool. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and add some 3D text as well. So we hit plus on the right. We're gonna go into 3D. I like the flap text. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna do 3D text. You can actually set up 3D text as an emitter as well if you add as an emitter. So you can have another emitter that just shoots out text. But I'm just gonna do a 3D text and I'm gonna add that on screen. Um, we're gonna pop it kind of towards the top. And we'll change the color to like some sort of purple to represent like bits. We'll hit OK. Um, and then on this one, I'm going to add a mod. I think I'm going to just do a basic spin. Let's do let's do a spin action. And we'll think the scale is okay. It might need to be a little bit bigger. It's not too bad. Let's try it with this current scale. So let's see. On the bits cheer amount 100 plus right here looks like i have a couple of them on cheer we're going to add go ahead and spin the text and then i'm going to scroll up and i'm going to replace the text line uh, with a few options so username that's the person who cheered and total bits cheered um so i'll say something like uh, thank you. And then if you ever lose any of the API or whatnot, you can just click on the arrow and add it. Username. I don't like the two total bits used, so I'll take that out. And we'll just do bits used because that's the current chair. So it has the bits used, which is the current chair, and then the total bits, which is like how much they've donated in total. And so say thank you, username, bits used. And I'll say for the middle of that. Um, and then at the very end, I'll do like bits, exclamation mark. Okay, that's a little bit big on text, so I think I'm gonna change the scale a little bit. So when we transform, I can go scroll down up there at the very bottom and then the scale, I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit so it fits better on screen. Um, and then I'm gonna also link, oops, I'm moving the NDI. I'm going to also link that particle burst that we set up at the beginning. 
to that same command. So on shear, we're emitting a burst, we're spinning, and we're changing the 3D act, the text. And now, well, let me highlight the particles. We are going to go ahead and emit a burst. So let's go ahead and open the library, and we're going to go ahead and give this a test. And you can see it emits a diamond, it spins the text, it changes the text, and emits a little burst. Um, and then eventually we need to clear this so this text is no longer there. And if you want your um, little 3D objects to stay, you can keep the settings that you want. Or if you want, you can go to the uh, emitter and then change the lifetime um, or the max simultaneously, for example, so you don't get over flooded with... Um, with objects on screen. Now it's very, very easy to get flooded with objects on screen. I've had a couple of times where um, I've my the, the system works pretty good as far as like you know processing you know and power and, and and not getting too overwhelmed. But if you get a little crazy with these three D objects, you can actually make um, you can make the system go by pretty fast on there. So the only thing I would probably do beyond this is maybe go into the action sequence and then we'll just change the visibility of this so it fades back away after some time. Other than that, that's pretty much how we can do our own custom full screen alerts. It's, it's pretty cool, it's 3D, I love it. Um, Polypop has got some great stuff going for it. All right, that's going to wrap up everything for today. I just wanted to highlight some features that I didn't highlight before with the emitters and things like that, making your own um, alert package that's full screen and 3D at the same time. It's some crazy unique stuff. Appreciate you watching the video. I'll see you glitches on the next one.